Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing SBIT boil tests using this new stainless steel SBIT stove and pot stand. Uh, of course using solid fuels, the SBIT solid fuel. What I'm going to do today, I've had requests that I try the same thing with that uh, solid fuel tray that I showed on the Mojo. Now all I did to change a Mojo, which is a Trangia pot stand, it fits the Mini Trangia. All I did to make it into a solid fuel was take a can top, which is just a can top, say from beans or from tomatoes. These are about 15.5 ounces or 14.5 ounce cans. The lids are about 2.94 inches in diameter. And all I did was lay it in the pot stand the same way you would with the Trangia burner. Now there is a little bit of a difference. The distance on the Espit stove from the tray to the bottom of the pot is 1.78 inches. On the Mojo from the tray to the bottom of the pot is 2 and 1 eighth or this is about a quarter of an inch higher. The other difference that will be on this is the Mojo is pretty well open where the Espit is a pot stand and a wind stand, windshield in the same thing, in the same rig, which keeps the heat in as you can see on the tempering of the stainless steel. It keeps the heat in and melts the Espit cube. So let me start up camera two here. Yep. Let me light this. See if I have a easier time today than I did yesterday. I put a little more crumbs on the top of this thing. There we go. I think I lit it this time. Yep. See if it'll go across. Okay, what I I used a much bigger lighting instrument last time. Should have started the other side too. I have crumbs on both sides. There we go. Okay. Two cups of water here. Setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210. I really don't think this is going to make it. 211. Well, maybe it will. Come on. Come on. One more degree. It's just about ready to burn. There we go. 802. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a finally came to a boil in eight minutes and two seconds. Not sure how much longer this is going to last. Now I have this on second camera yet. Uh, on the other test, using the Espit stove. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes, 56 seconds. Let's say 6 minutes. This was 8, 2 minutes longer. But I think the big thing is uh, all the heat on this is escaping out the sides. I can feel it out here. The other one, this one has like a built-in, uh, let me just turn the light back on, has a built-in windscreen. So when this was burning, when the espit was burning in this, it was actually melting in the tray and then burning off. Very little, very, very little residue left over. On this one, I think I'm going to end up with a little chunk of, of uh, espit standing, sitting in the middle of the tray. Whereas on this one, it melted it all down and burned it from there. Ok, 
had the temperatures dropping because the flame is going out. On the other S on the S bit stove, the cube lasted for nine minutes and thirty four seconds. This is actually lasting a little bit longer because in the end it's not burning as hot. So that's kind of interesting. The Espit stove melts down the Espit and burns it from a liquid state rather than as a solid state on this. There's residue on the pan on the can lid but not really much in the way of liquid there. Cool. Now you could, I'm willing to bet, you know, if you put a windscreen up like this, about this high, this is the one that was originally sent out with the Mojo. Forget who it's put out by. Traildesigns.com. And it's just aluminum foil, heavy aluminum foil, which would be about that high. So if you put it in nice and close, it would act as a uh, something to keep the heat in and melt down the aspit. Okay, I'm just waiting for this to go out. See, it's actually lasting longer here, but it's not burning as hot at the end. Okay, let's just call that. Normally what I would have done, if the water came to a boil, I would have blown out the aspit because I saved the little bits that are left. They're great to put in survival packs and stuff, fire kits, as little fire starters. Okay, still just a little bit there, still not wanting to give it up. Okay, the flame's still going, but as you can see, the temperature's going down. Still not boiling the whole time. On the Espit stove, <clears throat> it boiled the whole time until just before it went out. It's just hanging in there. Okay, I do another test with this, but I don't have any more espits. I'll have to go and get some. See who's carrying them in my area. All the rest of them are in my emergency packs or fire kits, and I really don't want to take them out of there. Okay, there's just a little bit of this. little bit of this? Just a littlest bit of espit burning there. See, it burns cooler, but it burns longer. Don't know if that works out right. Okay. Let's just say that's out. 12 minutes, 33 seconds, let's say. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of residue left there. But still in all, it works with the aspirin. Just thinking here. Okay, so that just shows you how you can take a Trangia stand and for real cheap turn it into a solid fuel burner. I did this with Espit. Uh, I'm sorry, it's Dr. Hollander. He wants to know if you're okay. Sorry, phone call there. Uh, what was I saying? Oh. You could use Coglin fuels. You could use the trioxide, except this you'd have to trioxine you'd have to break these down into smaller pieces but all of this stuff you could end up using on the mojo stand okay so I hope that helps those that asked for it I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now <laughs>